my youtube channel if you're new here hi hello my name is hannah you should subscribe down below because i post new videos every thursday and sunday and it's a good time around here today's video is going to be a like tie-dyeing my like sweatpants and like sweatshirt like we're gonna be making a matching sweatsuit because i have recently become like obsessed with matching sweatsuits even though i used to like hate them and i didn't like them at all and now i'm just like obsessed and tie-dyeing is like a big trend right now and i'm just really into it so because we're in quarantine and we have nothing else to do i figured this would be the perfect time to tie-dye so i went on amazon and i ordered a bunch of things so these are the sweatpants actually me and my sister are gonna be doing them so i just got us both a pair of like white sweatpants and then i also got us um like white what do you call them crewnecks i got a size large because i wanted mine to be oversized we also got some squirt bottle thingies you know to like dye it and then some rubber bands and then we also have the tie dye so we're using the rit dye this is what sammy's going to be using she's using the purple for her pants i think and then she wants to dye her jacket pink and this is a petal pink i don't know why i'm telling you the color but that's the color and then i am going to be using this like lighter pink which is rose quartz to make a matching sweatsuit because i'm all about like having it be cohesive so i'm very excited so i went on to ritz like website because i don't know i just heard that that was like the best and smartest thing to do because rit i guess is different i don't i don't really know but it said that before dyeing we need to remove any visible stains on the fabric this will help achieve the uniform color result so i'm going to stick both of our sweatsuits in the wash really quickly just to wash them and get them damp and it says to use warm soapy water and then we will start tie dyeing. Alright, so now that we have that washing, I'm going to be making our dyes and everything. So, on the RIT website, it says to mix two tablespoons of well-shaken liquid dye um, with two cups of hot water. So, I'm going to just like, you know, I have all of my supplies, so I'll just show you guys. So, I have our three mixing bowls. I also have a, like cup you know and then a tablespoon and all of the dyes which have already been shaken up so we're going to heat up the water and fill it all up also i am making a tiktok of this or i'm attempting to because as you guys know i just downloaded tiktok so if it turns out good i'll link my tiktok down below for you guys to watch it but we're just going to be filling these up and then waiting for the stuff in the washer to be done that it calls for a whole tablespoon of salt which seems like a lot but i'm going to be adding it to all three of these and then mixing these together so hopefully the salt will dissolve and it'll be like nice and evenly mixed <laughs> I just finished filling up all of the little squirt bottles and then we didn't have enough squirt bottles for the purple so Sammy's just gonna tie dye her jacket with all the pink and then fill up with the purple but yeah oh also update I changed into like clothes that I don't care about because I didn't want to ruin my nice cute sweater why is this mirror okay that one's better yeah I didn't want to ruin my like cute sweater so these are now all filled now we're just gonna wait for the clothes to be finished and then we will start tie-dyeing. All right guys, so we have now moved outside because I just finished, <laughs> ah, I can't win. Okay, I filmed this clip like three or four times because every time it gets quiet, I think I can film and then this guy's power washing in his backyard, but it's fine, I don't care anymore. So, um, yeah, everything has been taken out of the laundry. It's all laid out on the table. Mom, stop raking now. 
I'm just, I need peace and quiet, okay? <laughs> okay? Ah, <laughs> oh, amazing. Okay, so we're gonna be using some rubber bands and ah, oh, I can't win. Okay, anywho, we're using rubber bands and we're gonna be using like the scrunching technique, you know? I don't really know exactly what it's called, but we're just going to be tie-dyeing and like doing all that fun stuff with the rubber bands. So, I'm just gonna switch to a montage. That way you guys don't have to hear the power washing and I don't have to worry about the sound being good, okay? Okay, on to the montage. I just finished, oh my gosh, this man, I can't. Okay, well anywho, I finished doing like the scrunching technique. I don't really know if I did it correctly, but that's what they look like. Sammy did the swirling technique and she's using pink. Good job, looks cute. Okay, ready? Go. Go montage, put some like, put in slow-mo with like, like some oh, nice, like, okay. ready? ready? And then like, go. you gotta like, Oh, ready? okay, ready, go. Wow, so fancy. Okay, so yeah, now I'm just going to be tie-dyeing my stuff. Wow, the lighting just is not good. But I'm gonna be tie-dyeing my jackets and sweatpants and I'll show you guys when I'm done. guys so we just finished doing all of our tie-dye so here are mine and then we wrapped it in plastic wrap just because that's what the website said to do so I'm sorry do you mind <laughs> Not really. how rude so <laughs> we have mine right here and then Sammy like I said she's doing two different colors so she's doing her like pants purple and her jacket pink and their spiral so that's fun but now um it's said to just let them sit in the sun for an hour so that's what we're gonna do and then honestly i'm probably going to wait until tomorrow to wash them so i think i'll just update you guys tomorrow when it's time for us to like rinse all the dye out and wash them and we'll see the final product Ooh. Hi friends, so it's now the next day and it is tie-dye time. Ooh, so it's 1.39. They've been sitting for I mean a little less than 24 hours, but it's time to take them out and the directions say to rinse them in hot water and like let all the dye come out and then undo the whatchamacallit's rubber bands and then wash it. So we're gonna rinse it out and see how they look. Sammy, do you want to show them how your jacket yeah. turned out? Okay, hold on. Sammy did hers last night because she was impatient, and I need to take it off the tripod. But yeah, like I was saying, Sammy did hers last night because she was impatient. This is how it turned out. Really cutie. Do you want to show them your sweatpants? Okay, ready? One, two, three. Hi. So I'm sure you guys were all expecting to see Sammy's really cute sweatpants, but instead you would get me. I... I'm in my grandma robe, I have a face mask on. I'm I'm just my smart self didn't record the the jump part. So instead, here I am telling you guys that I'm dumb and I didn't record it. But you guys can kind of see Sammy's sweatpants in the next part. So here's me explaining that I'm dumb and stupid, but you guys will see Sammy's sweatpants. So moving on. Oh, I didn't get that. Clearly. Do it again. Oh, I'm recording. Good, Hannah. I'm glad you're recording now. Oh my god, hi. Hello. So I just finished rinsing them out and I don't want to show you yet just because 
I want to build the suspense to see how cute they look, but they look really good. So now I just stuck them in the washer and we're gonna wait for them to dry and then I'm gonna put them on and then we can have the final review. All right guys, so um, did I put on makeup so I can take cute pictures of my sweatsuit? Absolutely yes. Am I wearing my sweatsuit and not trying to show you? Yes, yes I am. Are you guys ready for the final review? Okay, ready? Three, two, one. It's so cute. Okay, hold on. Let me put you on the tripod so you can see it better. Okay, so here it is. Ooh, fun. I am obsessed. It looks really cutie. I can show you guys my TikTok that I made. I just posted it. Who am I posting TikToks? Who to thunk, honestly? Yeah, how cutie. So if you guys want to follow me on TikTok, go ahead. I'll leave it down below. But yeah, I'm obsessed with how it turned out. Here's it like closer up. I don't know. I feel like you can barely tell it's like pink, but like, I don't know. I really like it and I'm really happy with it. So that's going to be the end of this video. If you enjoyed this, then give it a thumbs up because I'm probably going to be doing more tie dyeing because I'm obsessed. So if you guys like this, thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!